think that the advances that have been put forward by mRNA-based vaccines are really, really impressive you know, and potentially have the, the potential to overcome some of the really big block, um, roadblocks in vaccine development so far. And the speed with which they can be developed is quite impressive. And what I found uh, also very impressive is um, to see how new technologies are applied to a relatively old uh, field. So advances in um, genetic sequencing and uh, new vaccine platforms um, they're very impressive um, and also yeah, structural biology studies which help um, elucidate uh, yeah, viral uh, proteins almost at an atomic level. So uh, I think these were very significant uh, insights. The meeting covered all aspects of uh, vaccinology and also uh, not focusing only on, of course, the recent COVID-19 uh, pandemic, but also expanding on uh, pathogens that are, uh, uh, you know, well known like malaria and TB and uh, showing all the recent advances. So I, I also thought that an excellent part of the symposium was the calibre of the speakers who were able to participate in the program. Having Tony Fauci, for instance, give the keynote, this talk was absolutely fantastic. And I know that that has been circulated and made publicly available. And one of the major attractions of this virtual meeting format, in my opinion, is the ability of people around the globe to participate. So representing a range of different career stages from students to early career, mid-career, as well as the established senior researchers. And I think in any uh, in-person meeting that would be not possible, I think was over 1,500 at some point that were listening to the talks. So that was also very impressive. And this is a very good format also for, uh, for you know, young scientists that sometimes they feel intimidated in confronting scientists that are much more experienced. And, uh, and so it's a good way for them to, to relate to them and to, to express their opinion and ask questions. It was very easy for, for the audience to interact with the, with the people that participated. Also for us, interacting with young scientists is important as, as well as uh, interacting with you know, more established scientists, uh, you know, also because it, they are the scientists of the future, of course, and they need to know and to, to be aware of the journals and how the journal works and what we are looking for. There's certainly a lot of advantage to these virtual meetings and people are really starting to realize the potential and the attractiveness of them and embrace them. I think actually that uh, virtual meetings are um, actually the future um, of, of uh, meeting formats and these pandemics just ac accelerated the shift. It's obvious from all of our comments that we think that the virtual meeting format has been a great success and that there is a lot of potential and in the future virtual meetings are here to stay. 